Let's go to Zeke Miller at the AP. Um, thanks uh, uh, for, for doing this today. Uh, for Dr. Walensky, um, I know there's been a number of questions about this over the last several months, but given the data you've uh, discussed today about the benefits uh, of booster doses um, and Dr. Fauci's comments yesterday about sort of potential cha changes to CDC policy, is the CDC going to change its definition of booster doses? Or And then uh, for Jeff, for people who are not uh, fully up to date with their vaccination, they're being, meaning they're eligible but haven't gotten a booster, um, should they be expecting to see, you know, that some of the prohibitions that people who are not fully vaccinated, you know, whether it comes to travel or employment with the federal government, that they would be subject to some of those prohibitions down the line? Dr. Dr. Walensky first. Yeah, super. Thank you, Zeke. So individuals are considered fully vaccinated against COVID-19 if they've received their primary series. That definition is not changing. But consistent with how public health has historically viewed or even uh, talked about how we recommend vaccines, um, we are now recommending that individuals stay up to date with additional doses that they are eligible for. And we have now available um, how you can stay up to date with your COVID-19 vaccines based on what vaccine you have received and what age group you are in. And that is available now on the CDC website. Back to you, Jeff. So Zeke, to repeat what Dr. Walensky just said, someone is considered fully vaccinated if they receive their primary series of vaccines. So if you think about the different requirements, I think you mentioned travel, uh, the OSHA and CMS rules as other examples, that has not changed and we do not have any plans to change that. Um, I do think it's really important uh, to, to recognize the vast majority of hospitalizations and deaths are among the unvaccinated Americans and completing the primary vaccination series is clearly a critical step to prevent severe outcomes uh, with boosters, as Dr. Walensky said, giving the highest level of protection. So we will encourage everybody to get vaccinated and when eligible boosted as to, as to the definition, uh, someone is considered fully vaccinated, they've received their primary series of vaccine. Next question.